that's okay. Now you can go. <laughs> All right. All right, friends, we are going to start with our rhyming words today. Thumbs up if it rhymes, thumbs down if it doesn't. All right, we're going to start with the words cat and mat. Does that sound the same? Cat and mat? Or eh? Amaya, I love your shirt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so All right, cute. what about the words got and can? Do those rhymes, do they sound the same? Got and can? Eh. Good job, Amaya. Eh. <laughs> How about done and run? Good job. Hi, Honesty. Good morning, beautiful. Hi, Honesty. How about mad and had? Mad had, sounds the same. What about cup and hot? That's right, Amaya. <laughs> Amaya, I love this. That's a great <laughs> way to say no. <laughs> Red and bed. Does that sound the same? Red bed. And rip and sip. Rip and sip. Yes, good job, Amaya. You know why we keep talking to Amaya? Because she's the only one in her screen. Yeah. Good job for you. <laughs> Alonzo's okay. there, but he's sideways. <laughs> yeah, Alonzo, you're sideways. We gotta work on that. Um, okay. Now we are going to count beautiful. syllables. S -s syllables. Okay, ready to clap? We have the word bus. How many syllables? Show me with your fingers. Bus. Good job. What about water? water. Show me with your fingers. How many claps did you do? Walker. Good job. How about bike? How many syllables? One. Very good. How about car? Very good. What about parent? How many? Good job, honesty. How about volunteer? Volunteer. Good job. The one I made a funny face at is actually two words. And so I wondered what the point was because that doesn't make sense to me. So principal, principal, how many? And last one, nurse. Very good boys and girls. Okay, so we have the letter C today to do on our board. Who wants to help me? Help answer my clues. Ooh. Lace does oh, and hey, Adriana Lace. does. Lace, unmute yourself. Unmute yourself, buddy. You gotta tap the screen and then click on this button. Okay. Good job. <laughs> I know, I'm doing a lot of class, so I'm doing hard. All right, Lace. I have, I have a word that starts with the letter C, and it's something that you can drink out of. It has soda in it. Oh. What do you have soda in that starts with the letter C? A soda. They just muted them. Where'd you go, man? Who wants to tell me? All right, Amaya, unmute. Adriana, next time you can you, honey. What do you have soda in, Amaya, that starts with the letter C? What's this? Is it a can? They can. Yeah. All right. This is something that was in our movie this morning that starts with the letter C, and it's a pet, but it's not a dog. And it says, meow. Who knows? Nose goes. Adriana? Unmute, sweetie. 
What is it? What says meow? Cat. Okay. Spell it, Adriana. C A T. Cat. Very good. I forgot to spell can. Hayton. Miss Sabat walked in and um, threw me off. So this is can. Spell it with me, guys. C A N can. All right. Who wants to help me with the next one? Nose goes. Lace, you're back now. Okay, okay Lace. Lace, unmute yourself. Tap the screen and click the button. That's <laughs> something you drive in. That's the letter C. Lace, you have to be by the, the tablet, honey. Lace, what is something that you drive in that starts with the letter C? Go, beep, beep. <laughs> Do you got an idea? What what do you, what's something you drive in that starts with the letter C? That's cook, 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 cook. Are you unmuting, honesty? What is it? A car. A car. Very good. Spell it. C A R car. All right, that's all we're going to do today because we're going to be out of time. It goes a lot faster in a recording. Yes. All right, boys and girls, you need to get your art book and you need to get your crayons out. Do not start coloring. Just get your art book, not your letter book, your art book. Good job. Liam, can you hold that up to the screen so everybody can see? Good job. It's a, it's and a your pink crayons. Book too. Go ahead right, and get them. If book. you don't have them, go get them. You need them for art class right now because Miss Robbins is coming on for art. Hi, Dakari. Go get your art book, Dakari, if you don't have it. We're getting ready for art class. You need crayons in your art book. If you do not have it, because Gannon, you can get a piece of, Gannon, honey, you can just get a paper if you don't have your art book at school. His mom said he always has stuff in his backpack. Okay. Oh. But. Good job, Amaya. Good job, Honesty. Show us your art books when you got them. It's your pink art book. Last week you made, you colored the squirrel, right? It was a squirrel? <laughs> it was a squirrel, yes. Okay. <laughs> I've got so much in my <laughs> I know. All right, when you're ready, if until Miss Robbins comes, we'll do a little bit more. We're gonna do some words. Beginning sound Good words. Good job, Amaya. I have the word hit. <gasps> hit. What's the first sound? <gasps> H. <gasps> then I have the word cold. <laughs> Very good. What about big? What sound do you hear? B B big. B what about feed? <laughs> what about wish? Wish. I <laughs> like how you're showing me with your lips, Adriana. Oh, there she is. But she changed it the other day. What about sip? And last one, fish. <laughs> Good job, boys and girls. <laughs> All right. It is time for art. Miss Robbins, Robbins, you need to unmute. At Be the patient with your me. screen. There you go. I will take attendance. Okay. I want a larger screen for you all. See if I can make that happen. Nope. Wrong one. Gallery? Yep, go to gallery and it should show all the kids. 
Yes, but you know how um, it's not filling up my screen. So it's like, oh, I know, I know what to do. There we go. Okay, good morning. Welcome back to art, you all. Miss Robbins is at school now in a warm building. So it's good to be here. Okay, we, how many of you finished your squirrel? Can you all hear me? posted them. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, well, we'll get started on a new project. How about that? We are going to do some work like um, this popular artist, his name is Wayne um, Fieldbone. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but he's very, he's known for drawing many different items, um, a paint can with paint coming off the sides, uh, lipstick, um, pencils, pies, cakes, candy, anything he finds interesting. So we're going to do some of his work um, today. So I'm gonna show you in the object that will dry, draw our lollipops, okay? So I'm going to show you a presentation. Okay, if I can get my... Okay, what do you all see? You're not sharing yet. So I'm click on sharing. share screen and then you have to click on the screen you wanna share. When you open share screen, it should show different screens. Okay, but it doesn't say live, doesn't need to? Nope. Okay. Again, this is my first time doing the whole thing with Zoom. So be patient with me, please. Okay, I just clicked it and share. There you go. Yay. Okay, well, I don't see all the students anymore. You won't, because okay. when you're sharing, you won't be able to see them. Okay. Okay, you all. I can see them though, because I can move my screen around. So okay. I'm still on. I'm just okay. muting myself and not sharing my video so I can work. <laughs> okay, I appreciate that, your assistance there. Okay, you all. Um, again, what we will be drawing are lollipops. And there are so many different lollipops, Ms. Robbins will show you. There's so many different shapes and colors and sizes and thicknesses, okay? So we'll just look at some. So we can... Okay, doesn't that look delicious? That's a big swirl, circular swirl. A spiral, I'm sorry, spiral. Many different colors, different flavors. Okay, I'm sorry I can't see you or else I'd ask you guys um, some questions about it. Well, this one is a Twitsy Roll Pop, just playing around. Various colors, chocolates, cherries, orange, um, grape. And then we have the Jolly Ranchers. All right. Again, different flavors, more of an oval shape. More oval, up and down. And Miss Robbins couldn't draw that, but some more diamond. Various colors though. Okay, and there's a blow pop. There's gum inside, yay. Okay, and it's a little, it's oval also, and it has a little um, band around it. 
So that makes that a little different and it has that element of surprise inside. And sometimes you can dip them and put sprinkles or decorations on the outside. Low pops. More shapes, flowers, star shaped. Okay, and then we have our stick. And a few of them together, we have the heart shaped. More spirals. And the same shapes, different decorations. Okay, so once you color yours, you have some ideas here, which you, how you might want to do it. There's a rectangular shape, it looks more like ice cream, but it came up in my lollipops. So rectangular shape. Different colors. And the body. And there you go. The lollipops come in different shapes and sizes and colors. Okay, so we will come back together and we will try to draw some of these together, but we will practice before we do that, okay? Can you all hear me? Thumbs up. Amira? Can you hear me? Okay, good. All right. So we should, you guys should have your art book. Okay, we're going to go to page three. Okay, and with the pencil, we will practice making these shapes, okay? We'll practice the shapes. Okay, so everyone ready with the pencil? Page three. Thumbs up if you're on page three. Catherine, you're on page three? You're getting there. Okay, it's in the top right-hand corner, the number. Okay. Alex is there, good job. Okay. Are we ready? Cannon, are you set? Abbasi, are you set? You are, okay. Is that Amber Lee? Amber Lee? What's the page number? Page three. The page says shapes, and it has a number three in the corner there. It says shapes. Okay, Amaya has it, yes? Shapes. Boys and girls, when you find the page, hold it up in the screen so Ms. Robbins can see. Good job, okay, good. Honesty. Good job, Amaya. Good job, Cartier. Good job, Dakari. Good job, Liam. Gannon, do you have your art book at school? Gannon. Gannon, look at the screen. Thumb up if you have your art book. Thumb down if you do not. I can't see your hand, honey. Do you have your art book at school, Gannon? Eh, he's at daycare, so he's probably not gonna answer. Good job, Ivanalise. Nina and Bella, good job. Alex, do you have your art book? Is it on the shapes? Good job, buddy. Okay. All right, I think everybody who's going to do it has got it. Okay. Alonzo, go get your art book, honey. Okay, so Miss Robbins need to. Good job, Amaya.
we can see where you have your Elmo. Okay, good. What's going to be my next question? I can move it over a little bit. So we have the shapes. And just to get a little practice before we make our lollipops, we will just trace these, okay? I miss seeing the students. <laughs> okay, so the triangle. All right, so you guys can start from the top and we'll just go right over the black. Right over the black blue line. Triangle, three sides. One, two, three. Okay. Honesty, good. I can only see honesty. Honesty, you trace the triangle? Good. Okay, now let's go to the square. There's four sides. One, two, Three and four. And it's okay if we have to erase. Four sides. Good honesty. All right. Rectangle. Two sides are longer. Okay, let's do the heart next. It's like we see a bird flying, okay? Down and down. Okay, again, like a bird, go all the way down into the middle. Good honesty. Good. Okay, now let's do the circle. Take our time and go all the way around. When you're not in front of the screen, they can't hear you. Okay. Or at least half of it. <laughs> they can see you, but you're, when you're not, your voice is not in front of the computer screen, they can't yes. hear you. Yes. Okay. So, sorry. <laughs> All right. No, that's okay. Honesty was giving me thumbs up, so okay. I didn't realize he couldn't. <laughs> okay. So those shapes are the shapes we'll use to do our lollipops. Triangle, circle, heart, rectangle, square. Okay. So, so we don't run out of time. Let's go to the back page. Go to the very back of your book. I still need to present that. Um, close your book up. See how I can explain. Okay, if you close your book, you have art on the top side. Let's flip it over. And we're going to go to the next empty page. Okay, so let's go to page 82. It's your last page in the book. Okay, can everyone go there? 82 is the last page in your book. Okay, very good. Okay, honesty's ready. All right, so 
the first lollipop we'll make is a heart shape. Okay. So we use the we separate our paper in half, and then cut that in half again. We we'll just use a small space. Okay, honestly, do you have your separated? And everyone else, I'm Some sorry. Some of them are still finding a page. Okay. 82, the last page. It looks like they're ready to go. Ready. Okay. Thank you so much, Ms. Radder. All right. So the first one we'll do is the heart shape, okay? And when we cut this, Ms. Robin will say that the top is sort of like rolling. Okay. So we'll do that. We try to make it even, go nice and slow, and round like a bird. Like a bird flying. How are we doing? Do you all have the top part? Good job, Avenalise. You're says, all done. Okay. <laughs> Easy, huh? And then once you get that done, you're going to calm down. Start the middle. And connect. Okay, we may not be perfect, but as long as we're doing our best, we can do it. Okay, so then we'll make this look for the right top. Most of us are done with the heart shape. Ms. Radis, looks like oh, most sorry. of them are done with the. Yep. It... Yep. Okay. So then we'll make a I stick. would just keep going. When okay. you move your head and start talking while you're drawing, they can't hear your instructions. Okay. So, sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. These that's computers are very touchy when it comes to presenting. Okay. So we have a heart. Okay, then we're going to put a stick on it so we can hold it and eat it if we were going to. Okay, so we're going to make two lines. We'll start a little one right on the side of the point, and we'll go down for a little bit. And then we'll just curve it around. Okay, we want to make it look as real as we can. Okay, then you can decorate it. Okay, if you want to put more hearts on. Or if you want to put circles, mix it all up, whatever you like to do. Okay. All right. The next one, which time do we have? Let's make uh, a dum dum. We saw one of those. It's like a blow pop with the gum on the inside. Okay, let's do that one. Okay, so we'll go. A line across, we're going to make like a half of a circle. Half of a circle. And we'll do another one on the bottom. 
smiley face going up. Again, this is more like the oval. What are you drawing? A lollipop. Okay, I'll show you a picture of it. What shape? See that? Bum bum. Bum. What shape is that? Bum bum. See, we're doing the oval. 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 Okay, so we'll form the circle. So then now we'll put a little rib on the outside. So we'll. Go around on the side. Can you bring your picture down a little bit? Oh, yep, there you go. <laughs> Remember, boys and girls, it's like the half circle that we've made in writing. So you make two half circles with a space in the middle, and then you can close connect it. Them. Connect them on the sides. Okay. So then we will make the stick for it. So we'll get a, put it like right in the middle to start and go down. And we round it. Okay, let's put a face on him. What do you guys think? Let's put a face on him and make it fun. Okay, so let's put an eye right here. Okay, we'll put another circle inside there. And we'll make him wink. So we'll put a line curving up and one going down. Okay, so Miss Robbins will go back, circle. Put the smaller circle on the inside. And we'll have them winking. So we'll go up on top and a smaller one on the bottom. And we'll put a face on his mouth. And we'll have him stick his tongue out. Okay, so there's a dum-dum lollipop. Okay, you can do it with a face, without a face, um, multiple colors you can color it. Okay, let's try the spiral one before it's time to go. And then I'll give you time to, to decorate your lollipops. Okay, I, I want to do the triangle one. Let's do the triangle real quick. Okay, so triangle three sides, one, two, and three, we'll connect. them. Okay, because we want it round like a lollipop, to make it look real three-dimensional, we'll make curves on the insides of the, the corners. Let's round those off. Okay. Once you round those off, then you erase the point. The corner. So we have more of a diamond lollipop. Okay, and again, you can put a face on there if you like, or you can just decorate it. Okay, I'll put a face on real quick. Okay, so we'll do oval eyes.
Okay, and I'll put a nose, there you go, upside down carrot. Slide down, and then a smile. So upside down carrot. Smile. Okay. Corners are off. And then we'll put our stick on. Start it. Good. It's at Anna. A Van Nice and a Van Elise. 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 Are you done? May I see yours? May I see yours, honesty? Okay. A little closer. Now. Okay, very nice. Okay, honesty, a little closer. Okay, good. Okay, we have a couple minutes. Let's try the spiral. All right. at a later time, okay? Okay, I'll open that up a little bit. All right, so we'll start in the middle. Everybody ready, pencils ready? And we're going to spiral around, let me show you this. I'll make it real big. This is what we're going to create. We're gonna start in the middle, we'll go around, we'll get on the side in between each. All right. So in the middle, around, same amount of space, take your time. Okay. And then once you start, and you get to the top and you close it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I got to get better at that. Okay, so from the middle, you go around, keeping the same distance in between your lines. And then when we get ready to finish, we get more narrow and close it. Okay, and it's time to go. All right, so you guys already know how to put a stick on. So you put your stick on and then you can color them, okay? Very good job. Thank you, Miss. We'll see you later, Miss Robbins. Okay. Have a good day. All right. Thank you. You guys too. All right. Does anybody have any pictures to show me? What'd you guys draw? Show me. Okay. Let's... Nice job. Nice I'm job. I'm trying to leave you. I'm trying to leave you. <laughs> it's all right. I can kick you. Uh, out. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, very good. Put your books down. We are going to count our 100 chart. And today when we're counting it, I want you guys to either do jumping jacks or jump up and down, okay? Or twist, whatever you wanna do. All right, are you guys ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. Good job, Adriana. Okay, ready? One. Two, three, I don't see anybody jumping. Four, five, six, good job, Cartier. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Take a deep breath. Good job, Cartier. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 
30. Good job, honesty. 30, deep breath. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Nose goes if you know what comes after 38. Miles? 39. 39. You rock, man. Yeah. Is this 39, Miles? Yeah. yeah. What two numbers are in 39, Miles? Three and nine. Very good, Miles. Thank you. So, friends, the thing that I had planned for math today. I can't figure out how to make it go back to the beginning. Like I practiced it and I, when I copied it, it copied it with all the answers that I practiced. So I'm not sure how to clear it, but it's not in your Google Classroom right now, even though it's on the things to do. I took it back out until I can figure out how to get it back to the beginning. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice counting. We have a song Wrong first. Class. I'll kick you out, it's all good. We have a song first, so you can stay standing if you want. Hello! Mrs. Travis, can you hear it? Yep. All right, good. This is our, our Halloween song. What's that sound? It's all a to practice the number three. Can you see the number three, Mrs. Raditz? I can. Yay! We're getting better at this every day. Shh, don't jinx us. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, except for that slideshow that I can't share because I don't know how to fix it. Okay. Three. Three. Triangle. Triangles have how many sides, boys and girls? Show me with your fingers. One, two, three. 
Good job. Three. One. Two. Three. Show me your three fingers. Good job, Honesty. Good job, Miles. Three. <gasps> it's the three little pigs. I love the three little pigs. Three. Three little pigs. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> the wolf just surfed by. The pigs look really confused. Three. That was entertaining for Mrs. J anyway. <laughs> three. <laughs> One, two, three. Three friends. Ooh, they disappeared. Three. A triangle has three sides. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, look, the kids are making a triangle with their bodies. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun if we were at school to do. You can't. You could do it at home with your mom and dad. Three. <laughs> oh, let's see what goes on with the three. dogs. Three. Three dogs. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, there were three dogs. Oh, they're back. They're like a copycat. They all copy the first dog. That's funny. Because wouldn't you think the big, three. big dog would be the one that they would copy? All right, good job, friends. Okay, we are going to practice counting. I want to see some mouths moving. Eyes okay, on so the board. The Eyes picture on. goes in order. It's just practicing counting. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good job, friends. So now show me with your fingers. We're going to count just like that. Ready? Grab your hands. Hands. Close, ready? Up, Maya, just do it with us. Hold on. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. So do you guys have your whiteboard bot nearby? Because I didn't tell you to bring it, but could you go get it? If you don't have it nearby, get your whiteboard and your marker. Oh, I hear Ms. Vodica. <laughs> Miles, honey, you gotta keep yourself muted. Okay, Adriana, unmute yourself once. Tell me a number between one and 10. One. Two. One? One? Okay, everybody on your board, you're gonna write the number one and you're going to draw one circle. Okay, you can mute yourself back, Adriana. Make sure the circle's far away from your number one, otherwise it's gonna look like a 10. Or like Miss Raditz, Mrs. Raditz did, she colored hers in, that was very smart. There's the number one, show me yours. Good job, Liam. Cartier, where are you? Levi and Lace, we need to see your number one. Where's your board, guys? 
Can you show me, Amaya? Good job, Honesty. Good job, Ivana Lise. Beautiful job. Oh, Clayton, are you working with your sister next to you? <laughs> Did you get it, Amaya? Good job, Nina and Bella. Good job, Amaya. All right, Honesty, unmute yourself. All right, now tell me another number from one to 10, but not one. <laughs> Two. Two, okay. <laughs> so you, you guys, thank you, honesty. You guys are going to write the number two and you are going to draw two circles. They look like eyes. Ooh, like ghost eyes. Okay, when you're finished, hold it up and show us. Good job, Clayton. Cartier, hold it up a little bit higher, honey. That's why you gotta sit up in your chair. I can't see your board to tell you you did it. Show me your board, please. Miles, you need to be doing this not wearing a mask. I can't find my whiteboard. Okay, then get a piece of paper, honey. Okay. Talk to him on Wednesday. Good job, Nina. Uh, that's not an option, Cartier. Would you like me to talk to mom? Oh, boys and girls, when you come back to school, it's going to be so hard for you. <laughs> this is easy compared to what we do at home or at school. Good job. Oh. All right, very good. Good job, right, Alex. Liam. Liam, unmute yourself. Tell me a number between one and 10, not one or two. Nine. Nine, okay. Oh, Liam said nine. So now you have to write a nine and draw nine circles. When you're finished, show us. I see how you're counting yours, Alex. Good job. Let's see, honesty. Oh, good job, Liam. <laughs> That's a big circle. Wow, good job, Dakari. Good job of Annalise having help. Good job, Thank Clayton. You. Good, Good job, job. Remember, when you're making your nine, boys and girls, I'm gonna do it at the bottom. You make a small circle and then you make a line to make the number nine. Look at Mrs. J has a die. <laughs> I do. I did it in three rows of three. I thought it was interesting. And you did it five and four. Three, six, nine, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I counted right. Oh, Lordy. Okay, guys, erase the board. We'll have one more friend. One more friend who wants to tell me a number between one, one and 10. Clayton? Okay. Hopefully you got your mic got your fixed, mic. buddy. Between one and 10, not one, two, or nine. Honey, we can't hear you. Show me Hold with your, your fingers. fingers. How many you want us to do? Three. Oh, I think he's counting. <laughs> ten? Okay, right at ten. Ten oh. circles, guys.
We need to see what you're writing, boys and girls. That's what you're doing right now. Should not be doing anything else. You guys have a new, another big break in about five minutes. Nice job, Liam, but you gotta write the number too, babe. Good job, Clayton. Alex, honey, go one, two, three, four, five. Draw five circles, and then you can draw five more. Good job, Jakari. Ah, oh, Liam. That's so cute. You drew the circles in the zero. Good job, buddy. I'm sorry. I didn't see the one before. Good job, I Alex. Know. I don't think it was there. Oh, <laughs> maybe I was holding it wrong. Good job, Miles. <laughs> You're so funny, Liam. Good he job, a in, in that movie. Good job, Alonzo. Nice job, Levi or Lace. I don't know which one's which. You both have Lace on your computer. <laughs> Good job, Nina and Bella. Good job, Hala. Peyton, I've already told you teachers. Sorry, friends. Okay, as soon as you're finished, boys and girls. This is on Friday or Thursday. Yeah. Who did? Peyton's getting her second set of braces, so she's... Oh, lucky her. Yeah, struggling with, a little bit with school today. Oh. She's focused on that instead of doing her work. See, my girls are... Good job, Cartier. My girls get in trouble from me, too, when they're not doing their work. Mm-hmm. And they're older. They know better. <laughs> All right. So, boys and girls, we are okay. going to do the math problem of the day. You can keep your whiteboard with you if you would like to answer Mrs. it on your whiteboard, okay? I will write it, Mrs. J, so you don't have to worry about doing it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So here's the problem, boys and girls. If Amaya sees two kids dress up like witches and she sees three kids dressed up like ghosts, how many kids does she see in all? I'll say it again. If Amaya sees two kids dressed up as witches and three kids dressed up as ghosts, how many kids does she see in all? So you could put two plus three equals. You could draw tally marks. You have a couple strategies that you guys know how to do it. You could draw circles like we just did. Does anybody know the answer? Honesty? Do you know? Oh. How many? Oh. I don't think it's right. Here, let's try it. Okay, ready? So if Amaya, look, look, honesty. Look, where are you looking? If Amaya sees two kids dressed up like this, and three kids dressed up like ghosts. How many does she see in all? Count my tally marks in my um, honesty. Honesty. Look, look. Oh. One, two, four, five. Does she see five kids? Who knows the equation? How we would say this in equation with the plus sign and the equal sign. Who wants to do that? <laughs> okay, Clayton, you already wrote it. Except you can't, we can't hear you today. So hold it up so I can see it and I'll read it for you. Hold it up. 
Okay, you have your, the, the, the symbol you have in front of your five is wrong. This is equals, look Clayton, this is equals. Can change that for me? Change the second plus sign. I'm sorry, what did you say? I told him he had two plus signs. Oh, sorry, oh. I thought you were talking okay, to me. Okay, hold it up. Okay, so you're gonna put that equal sign right there, right in between that three and that five. So your equal sign is two lines. You got it, Clayton. All right, hold it up. Okay, let's read it together. It says two plus three equals five. You have that written, Mrs. Raditz? Yep, two plus three equals five. Okay, Clayton, look at Mrs. Raditz's board and see where she put the equal sign. It looks like two straight lines above e and next to each other. They're parallel, but you guys- Clayton, I was very proud these. of you because you were the only one that I could see. There you go. Good, Good job, job, Clayton. Nina I'm and Bella wrote you. it too, Mrs. J, but they- Fantastic. Yeah. I didn't see anybody else write it though. I don't Good see a lot guys. of friends participating right now, which makes me sad. Yeah, there's a couple dark- <laughs> Liam, we're not doing that right now. That's great that you're doing that, but we're doing this. All right, so it's almost time to say goodbye, friends. So I wanna tell you what you have to do. So there is a paper, or not a paper, it's uh, in Seesaw, there is an activity for Halloween patterns. So you need to put the Halloween pictures into a pattern form. You have the number three work in Seesaw, which is the same as the number two and the number one that you did last week, but it's the number three. And then if I get it fixed, you will have how many ghosts are haunting in Google Classroom. That's what we were supposed to do today. It's really fun, but hopefully I can get it fixed and get it into Google Classroom. Now, boys and girls, we are putting some, some things are going into Google Classroom and make sure that you go in there and do it, okay? They're usually very fun games, okay? <laughs> you okay. also have a lot of things in Seesaw from this morning. In my classroom, only two friends, Dakari and Clayton, great job, you guys did your work. Everybody else, you need to go into Seesaw and Google Classroom every day. There are lots of things that are posted, mostly in Seesaw, but you need to be doing your work for class credit. And if you're on, we need to see you. Like we don't see Jaden, we don't see Cartier. Miles, you're not doing your job right now. If we don't see you, you guys aren't getting credit for being in class because you're not participating. That's part of being, we know this is not how you like school. This is not how Mrs. J and I like school, but for right now, this is what is safe for us to be able to have school. So you have to follow directions. Otherwise, so on, I don't know on Wednesday if we'll have friends participating in the movie. If you're not doing your work during the school day, because that's how it would be at school too. You won't, you don't get to do the fun things if you don't get your work done first. Okay. Okay. When okay, we honesty. <laughs> when we come back at 1240, I am going to be carving a pumpkin with you. So there won't be a lot of work for you to do, but you're going to help me because when you were all done, you have two homework assignments in uh, Seesaw about the pumpkin carving. So you need to pay attention. Dakari, <laughs> you got it. You were up close and personal. All right, friends, you now we'll have you a two hour break for lunch to get all your work done, to get your wiggles out. 
to get focused and come back so that we can carve a pumpkin together. Okie dokie. Big thumbs up if you heard me. Who's going to go have lunch? <laughs> Who's hungry? <laughs> I love seeing all the orange and Halloween colored clothing. I know not everybody has the color orange, orange, but we all, even Mrs. Raddatz, I don't like orange, so I made myself a, a colorful pumpkin shirt. <laughs> Mrs. J is a very uh, dedicated teacher. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, all right, friends, we will see you in a little bit. Bye. I can't wait. <laughs>